React to Asher Jack's Kid Boo? Is this a thing? He did an interview? No way, bro. I almost committed, I almost deleted myself. My girlfriend caught me. Oh my God. Is her mom white or Colum her mom? Colombian? Oh, I fucking love it. I fucking love <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> he he likes the latinas i guess he lives in florida i think he said he was in the ville the ville <laughs> have you been to colombia i don't discriminate man no nah, i never been i've never been to colombia bro i like my i like my fingers where they are like, <laughs> <laughs> i ain't going over there and yeah fuck that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll go now, but before I was too stubborn. I used to travel like rings on every finger, jewelry everywhere. He talking about me? Like, ah, oh, you can't touch me. You know who I am. You know what I mean? When you know what happened to you? Like I was like that. I was oh, like, he yeah. like broke it down into a bunch, huh? The media lied about me hitting Black China. We had a great relationship, part one. Kid Boo on Bob Lamb saying he copied Yeet. Afterlife is oh god. Okay, this is the one. So uh. He did. He literally copied Yeet's sound like a hundred percent. Is there's no question? Let's talk about uh my my friend, my boy Bob and Lamb. I recently did a, a live stream with him. Some people saw it, whatever. But shout out. I meant Ashton to bring Jackson. him up because I wanted to like kind of press him a little bit on his opinion of you. He was kind of saying that uh, you stole Yeet's style in a couple of songs, and um, me and you kind of kid. Okay, look, kid boo. Let's just make this clear. His whole persona is stealing people's sounds. And and uh, if you go to Kid Boo like the Dragon Ball character, that's literally his power. His original form is Majin Boo. Unlike his other forms, he, he, he goes into different forms. Where is it, bro? What's his power? Kid, Kid Boo power. It can manipulate Kai energy, blah. You know what I'm saying? So he, it's literally his brand. To be manipulating into different forms, into different rappers. He will, he goes from different, like, sounding like X, sounding like Uzi, sounding like Trippy with the I try thing, sounding like Yeet, because it's just popular. Kind of talked about that off camera. He absorbs them. And no, I'm not a weeb. I, I wasn't really into any anime except for Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon. Where you had a different view on that. So. Tell me about that. Like, do you do you feel like he kind of copied you? Because you were telling me about a song where he kind of took your flow. So explain that a little bit with the whole Yeet comparison from from Bob for Bob Williams. Well, all right. Here's how this goes. There's um, there's a few artists that that I think that you know they get influenced from me, and that's cool. I, I I've learned to just like not call it out like I used to back in the day because that was what you know that's what people like. The the, the labels really were like, you should really talk about that. I never was the type to care. It, it, to me, that's paying me a compliment, you know? And when I see you, I'll be like, I embrace you. Because it's, it's a way of like, you got, you created your art by influence of my art, which is like expanding both of our art more to the universe. And I look at that as a positive way, but they've made it a negative thing. So it's almost like when someone copies you or, you know what I mean? You have to be offended, but I don't think there's nothing wrong with copy, being a copycat as long as you copy the right cat. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So with that being said, as humongous to God, a lot of people know I was using the like auto tune really heavy on some more deeper shit, like using deep auto tune, like in my No Feel song and Look at Me Now, which are these songs where like Bob will be like, oh, he, he sounds like maybe a yeet. That's because Bob's not educated on who humongous to God is. All right. Let's let's become educated on humongous to God. Do y'all remember when? Humongous the God or Kid Boo's ex-girlfriend came out on a YouTube video saying that he was abusing her and that he bought followers and like hundreds of thousands of followers to make it look like he was famous. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. That was back in like 2016, 2017. Cause that's I, I, I do think that I'm a bit educated on this guy. And I'm not even trying to expose anything like that, but somebody who's buying fake followers, like who's, who's so desperate to become famous by buying followers, I would not expect anything less than to copy uh, like other popular rappers. Okay. That was the method in 2016. 
I don't care what it was. You dig? So he's so much of Cardi's like, like, you know what I mean? That he don't, he don't know what the fuck's going on outside of that. You know, he only knows that world. And I've heard him explain that too, about that. He don't really know all music because he really does, does Cardi, Uzi. You know what I mean? Like these niggas. Those are the people he copies. Wait, I got to do something. I got to do something. What is the song where Kid Boo literally like copied Trippy Red and Uzi in the same song? What was it called? I Try Love Sick. Okay, look at this. He literally has an album called Revenge of the Clones. Because he knows he's a clone. And Blunt was actually hard. I'm not going to lie. But who else? Okay. I Try Love Sick. He said Uzi. Go bang, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, he's copying Uzi. Uzi's a gun as well. But still, man, this looks exactly like a like a Uzi song. And it it actually sounds let, let's just listen to it. This is the trippy song, the trippy beat. And I get lost inside your eyes. I'm trying to find the Uzi one. Kid Boo bites Uzi. Rest Exposes Kid Boo for stealing the wanted you. That's what it is. And he stole Trippy Red's album title. What was it called? These are my old videos. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Blind for a perfect love letter, bro. You're telling me this ain't a clone of Trippy Red? A perfect love letter? A love letter to you? I'm trying to find something. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Revenge of the Clones, okay, blah, 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 Mama, Curtis, blah, Blind for Love. He does have some songs that go hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Blind for Love 2, is that what it is? Death, love is Rage 2. I feel like that doesn't necessarily mean he body, but let me find it again. For Wanted You, okay. Kid Boo, Wanted You. He stole the exact flow. Is it on Dead Roses? Is it that one? Yes. Listen to that. Now listen to Nav wanted you. Can't believe I wanted you. All this ice, I need a freezer. Mm. Whip it up, egg beater. Mm. It's it's bar for bar. Crazy. And he's trying to he's trying to gaslight me into thinking that I don't know what he's doing. I ain't listening to this clown. I can't do it. He's a clown. He's a clown. That's why he got pink hair. Tattoos all over his face. He a dumbass. How old is this dude? Let's see some kid boo age. Didn't he lie about his age too? Bro's 34 biting rappers who are 27 years old. My guy go invest in some real estate. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do this forever, man. I know that I got a, I got an age limit, but yeah, if you steal them from nav, man, that might not be the person to be biting. Although Wanted You was a really big song. So I can't be hating on that. Uh, I, th like, it's, I feel like he almost recently figured out who Lancey is. And in my opinion, we wouldn't have... Lancey? Who's Lancey? Cardi without Lancey. We wouldn't have a thug without Lancey. I feel like Lancey is the originator of a lot of this shit and doesn't get his credit. The same way I'm an originator of a lot of things and don't get mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what I'll say about that. So I don't dislike Bob... Um, I just feel like that's just, he's just in a different side of the algorithm. And um, it, it, maybe he did a little digging into me instead of like just. We um, just dug into you, bro. He's a dumbass. He said we wouldn't have Lancey. Lancey? Lancey? Who is Lancey? Is it, it's Lancey, right? Or is there another Lancey that I'm not aware of? He, he thinks that he knows the influences of this shit. And he can't even pronounce the name right. There would be no thug without Launcy. What? Comment section that he would actually be able to learn some shit and be like, holy fuck. You know, like Adam 22, before Adam 22 hated Kid Boo, a lot of y'all don't know this, he was a humongous God fan. And we got screen recordings, we got receipts to this day when he would just randomly in the middle of his live just go gaga all over my photos, my trap star photos, like, oh, look at this guy. He's really from the streets. Look at him draped in Gucci. He wears masks. You know, he's probably committing crime. And man, his music's pretty, it's pretty good. Like he's speaking that real raw street shit. You know, like, like it's funny because then like I look back, I'm like, nigga, do you not know I was that same nigga, HXTXG? He means launch scattering. 
hold up. Let me let me copy and paste that. I'm gonna be real. I don't even know who this is. Lawn scattering. Are you sure? I just copy and paste this. It's not in there. Lawn Lance Dixon. I I'm sure this is not him. <laughs> All right, all right. He's trolling me. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn, man. If it's not Lancey Foe that he's talking about, who is he talking about? Like, do you not know Kibble and him is the same person? A lot of them don't, you know. But if you look back, I didn't even know who Humongous the God was before Kid Boo. That's that's why buying followers does not work because if you go to his page at this point, Kid Boo, he got one million followers and he's not showing his likes. Why? Because it's probably embarrassing. And it's all people saying, bro, we're going to sell 100 copies. Uh, yeet clone. Is this a chemical formula? Clone aid. Oh, yeah. And he was biting Cardi, too, at one point. He even did a whole music video. What was it? Um, Kid Boo. What's the Cardi? Was it Red Diamond? I think that was it. Bro, this dropped after a whole lot of red six months ago. Bro had the audacity to say that I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> when he calling him out for, for cloning and biting other people's music and then go on this interview and say that he wasn't and that they're influenced by him. Back at that music, bro, is really deeper auto tune, which I got inspo from like Kanye, Travis Scott, like when it came to deeper auto tune. I'm the type of person I'm not afraid to say where I get my inspiration from. So it has it had it been a Yeet song, I would have been like, Yeah, I got some inspo from this Yeet kit. But no, I don't. And to be honest, bro, like I don't think that will ever happen. I was really looking Let's let's do another one. Kid Boo. What what's the bite Yeet song? I think it's the metaverse one. No feels. I feel like this is it. Bro, this is the definition of gaslighting. The same font you're saying, even the it, it, the beat selection, the ooh in the background that Yeet does. He's trying to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm done. I can't. I I can't watch this interview anymore. It, it it's gonna piss me off even more. I can't do it. I'm out. I got. I gotta go. I got to go beat my meat or something to get this anger out. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out, clap people. Nice no, scene.